Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the Nick Pope card to review. Uh, this card is going to be an interesting one because last year he had a card and I, th I forget what it was. I think it was like a player moments or something and he wasn't that great, right? We even sh showed in the review and from people trying him out in regular gameplay, there was really nothing special about the card. Now, obviously in FIFA, if you work high percentage strikes as much as possible, you'll pretty much score most of those opportunities, right? But we always try out different angles when it comes to goal scoring, so we're going to see what he's going to be like. Uh, just going to be playing against Giyu and just trying out certain shot angles, ball roll touches, that kind of stuff, uh, to see how the goalie kind of reacts to each situation, right? So um, player traits in game, he has rushes out of goal, comes for crosses, saves with feet. So to be fair... Those are all very good traits, right? Sometimes a saves with feet trait is not always amazing. The reason being for this is because sometimes a goalie will go for that animation, which actually doesn't help them in certain situations. Like, saves with feet trait was a very overpowered trait when the driven shot meta back in the day was more prevalent, right? So because it was more prevalent and people kept on using it, a player like David De Gea was an absolute monster because he had that saves with feet trait. But because people use different types of shots, you know... Here's the thing uh, about the saves with feet trait, though. I'm saying this, but at the same time, there is that shot where if you barely touch the shoot button, right, in regards to, like, just putting less power and then the shot turns into a driven shot, that's a very effective way of scoring. So a goalie like this could be very helpful against that. Uh, In-game attributes, this card will be on a basic chemistry style. So with the basic chemistry style, this is what he's going to look like. Um, basic chemistry style. Uh, is going to look like this, right? So he's going to have 90 diving, 92 for reflexes, 91 for handling, acceleration at a 60, 53 for sprint speed, 90 for positioning, and then 85 for kicking. So yeah, we're going to be trying him out with all of those things. Uh, just going to wait for Gyu to do the card, and then we'll be doing the review against him. Yeah. So those are the regular opportunities. We're going to keep trying a few of them. Try here. Yep. Those are like the higher percentage ones. So you would kind of expect to score those a very large majority of the times. Okay, so that's to the top left corner. Okay. Try to angle a little bit higher. So he dives like a log on that one. I just want to see the replay of this one, actually. Let's just see it for a second. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so kind of facing him more away. Okay. Let's try our weak foot strike with Schweiny here. Yeah. Okay, so let's try... Let's try 45 kind of upwards. And let's try it from here. So that's a save coming close. Try a, a lower percentage strike like here. Oh, well, that's Correa. Correa is still a beast. He does the falling over like a log animation there still. Right here. Okay, he saves that one. He saves that one. That's a really poor strike though, to be fair. Lower crossbody. Saves that, okay. Okay, so regular finesse shot. That doesn't come off that great. He's supposed to save. He falls over like a log for that one, too. Yeah, we score that one, too. I want to try the ones more from the bottom, like here. Right there, and then shoot that. Saves that. Okay, just lower right there. Okay. <laughs> Not a great animation for those ones. Okay, so lower again. Saves that one. Poor strike, though. Outside foot. Very effective against most goalkeepers. Doesn't save that. Okay. That's a low percentage strike because kind of like in the middle of the goal there. That was a really good strike. 
I wasn't going to get to that, though. So by default, he does go and collect that. Most, I think most goalkeepers would in that situation. Yeah, so that's just a really good strike. To be fair, Correa actually has like very good direct power strikes. Okay, saves that one. Yeah, that one didn't come off properly for the outside foot, but should be saving that regardless. Yeah, so that's a 45 upwards. He does save that one. If the shot doesn't come off like super direct, like that one with Messi, uh, it's it's hard to explain. Like it needs the shots need to come off way more direct. That's a finesse shot. It's a good strike, to be fair. I don't think most goalkeepers are gonna save that. Oh, that one's not great. So guys, just remember that when it comes to goalkeeper reviews, I'm just showing you the animation choices that a goalie will make. It's not to say the goalie is bad or good. Uh, because higher percent strikes, they do end up going into the back of the net. The ones that seem to be low percentage as of right now, where the ball is either like flopped up or they're not super direct, like obviously um, he's not really saving. That one, there's no animation to go and save the side. Kind of just like stays there in a way. You're going to try from here again. Saves that. Yeah, so every lower percentage, like these, these shots that I'm taking that are bad, like he is saving them. That one was actually a pretty decent dive. Yeah. Like, these are just higher percentage. Like, they just go into the back of the net, right? It's always hard to kind of, like, judge those ones. Yeah. All higher percentage. Okay. Okay, so regular finesse shot, he saves that. Finesse shot, a good one. He ends up scoring against Pope. All roll finesse. Okay, and that's a poor finesse shot as well. That's a direct uh, outside foot, so and most goalkeepers should be saving that. That's trying out the heel to heel, which is effective against goalkeepers. Ball roll. Finesse, he slides to the floor. Finesse, saves it. Yeah, outside foot goes in. Th these are all good strikes, though. I think most goalkeepers wouldn't save these. Ness. It's a good strike. Those are direct ones, so I expect most goalkeepers to not save those. Ball roll. Ness. That's a driven one as well. Driven. Okay, so that's the saves with feet right there. If I'm here and I do a driven... Doesn't save that one. Drivens are actually like very effective. They're like a very underrated strike to take, by the ways. Because they're pretty accurate, actually. Okay. A distance. It's a bad strike. Way too far. Driven shot. He saves. Directly at the goalkeeper. Should be saving. Driven shot. He saves again. Yeah, close to the goalkeeper. He saves. It's a good save, to be fair. Yeah, so tips shot. He puts it to the side. I like these ones the most, like the pressure situations. Yeah, so poor finesse saves it. Near pole strike. I'll end up scoring it. Finesse. Our strike is a goal. Okay, near post strike there. Goalkeeper doesn't save. Those, like I said, most of the high percentage strikes, he's not saving, right? There is one middle strike that I took uh, that I feel like he could have probably chosen a different animation for, but. Could save for that one. Again, you can see that when it's like the floppy shots, like he's going to save those, right? But it's if it's more direct, probably not. Green time doesn't save. It's a good. It's a good strike again. Right to the middle. Yeah, if it's like straight to the middle, like he's obviously gonna save those two. Ooh, nice save from the power strike. 
Paul. So that's a middle strike there. Mm, see this one. Mm, 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 mm. Middle strike. That's a save animation for that. Power strike again. Good save. Yeah, so those are the looped ones. He did miss those, so there's no real animation for that. And if it was on target and I scored, it's not horrible that he can seize that because it's a very effective shot in this game. Power strike palms it away. Oh, Correa's got some crazy direct strikes. Oh my goodness. His positioning is really weird on some of these strikes, though. Like, this long distance, like, it's so far to the left on that one. It's so weird. Yeah, should be saving those two. Should be an easy save. Yeah, that's a direct strike. The direct strike he saves. That's the looped one, so I don't expect him to save those ones. Right at him he saves. Yeah, that's a saves with feet tray right there. What a strike by Schweinsteiger. That's his animation choice to go for a chip shot. Touch. Close to the goalkeeper. Shoot again. Miss completely, but good initial save. When you're close to the goalkeeper, they should be saving it. Guys, to be honest with you, uh, his save animations are not like completely horrible. Like these strikes that I'm taking, that one, like the, the strikes that I'm taking, like here's the thing, right? When you do power strikes, they're pretty random. Like you could take some of these strikes and these goalkeepers like don't really um, do a lot of saves to them, right? Look at this for a power strike. Right, It's like right in the middle, right? So like those ones have been the only strange ones. The other ones have been like very basic for the most part. Yeah, I expect him to save those. Yeah, close to the goalkeeper, nothing there too. Most of the high percentages are going in for the most part. Yeah, finesse. It does do well to track back for that chip there, though. It wasn't bad. Yeah, regular power strike. So bicycle kick, goalkeeper saves from the middle. Okay. I think he had that covered for the most part. Does end up grabbing that. That's a nice, looking ball. Oh, nice save. That's way too much power on the header. It's a good save by the goalie again. Nice save. He actually saves that with his feet there too. That's a high percent strike. Yeah, I kind of want to shoot it kind of directly at the goalkeeper to see if he would save it. Honestly, he almost did a really good save animation there. Yeah, that's a good header as well. I don't expect him to save that. Good save again. Yeah, so uh, if you time the left stick against the goalie there, it's going to work every time. Usually just a thing in FIFA, to be fair. See this one. That's a... Uh, the basic reaction most goalkeepers have as well in those situations. I think that hit the defender. I don't even know what that was. Okay, guys, so for goalkeeper reviews, you guys know the vibes. We can't say final verdict on the card because uh, it's a goalkeeper review, right? So the whole point of uh, doing these reviews is to kind of show you the animation choices that a goalkeeper makes. Uh, working with open shots, lower percentage strikes, higher percentage strikes. The card is, I mean, it's perfectly fine, right? It's the type of goalkeeper that you're going to unlock uh, to be able to give you some certain chemistry links in your squad without having to do too much, right? This card existing as uh, a goalkeeper will provide you that link to players like a Kieran Trippier. Um, if you have the Almiron card still still in your team, if you're working with some of the Newcastle players, that'll be cool too. English link-ups are pretty decent to work with as well.
So no real bi uh, big problems there. Now, it's hard to give a concrete or concrete review on a card like this because, yes, you can see the animation choices. Most of the high percentage strikes went into the back of the net. Most of the lower, per lower percentage strikes didn't go into the back of the net. In FIFA, that's just how finishing works, right? It's kind of like, in a way, it's kind of coded into the game when goalkeepers save lower percentage than high percentage like i always tell you guys like when you do a, a lofted um you know outside foot shot from outside the 18 most goalkeepers won't save it if you do direct power strikes you know not the ones where it's like they shoot and it's kind of like flimsy most goalkeepers won't save it right it's just kind of how those work um you know but when we did work with certain angles that weren't as high percentage and they weren't as low percentage we had a little bit of pressure he still did an okay job. It wasn't terrible whatsoever. It didn't feel like he was an awful goalkeeper. The only thing that you notice being a little strange from time to time is when you do a power strike, his positioning on those ones is a little bit weird. It was kind of like more to the side than it was through the middle. And sometimes he wouldn't save the shots directly at him in those ones. But I mean, honestly, as an SBC, I think he's perfectly fine. Um, if it's a card that, you know, potentially can get that upgrade in the future, to provide you with those you know proper links as well as uh, an upgraded version of him i think the sbc at 40k is still perfectly fine for uh what he offers in game for the potential upgrade that he could be receiving so yeah i didn't really mind the animation choices like i said if you're working with high percentage strikes they're most likely going to go in uh and then the lower percentage ones like most likely not so um yeah the saves with feats trade could actually be very helpful so you know those situations where someone's attacking against you the the driven shot is a very effective way of scoring in general like even against him it'll still be effective in certain cases but if someone has a little bit of pressure against your attacker and you do that driven shot and it's a little bit more base in the middle he actually might be able to save it because that saves the feet trait that was actually noticeable from time to time so yeah it's still a decent goalkeeper i liked him to be honest um wasn't too bad whatsoever from what I saw myself. But again, you can't give final verdicts on goalkeepers. It's always hard to do. All you can do is show people the animation choices and uh, what they end up doing. So yeah, we're not going to do a review for the other showdown goalkeeper card because I think this is the one that people are going to be mostly interested in. So yeah, I'll catch you guys for the next video. Peace out, my dudes. Love you guys.